Hey everyone, it's me Hattie, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be planning in my classic catch-all hobby planner for the week of February 8th through the 14th, which I am so excited about. So this is also Valentine's week, but I restricted myself from buying any small shop Valentine's stickers because I would have spent all my money. So I don't have any really Valentine's Day stickers, so I decided to take a different approach on your classic Valentine's bread and go in with some florals. So you may recognize this tissue paper from the little bloom box that released, I want to say back in July. Now this um, is not available anymore. Uh, but it is a, such a cute box, and every Be Happy box from the Happy Planner comes with the most adorable tissue paper that matches the theme of the box. Now, you can throw the tissue paper away, but I personally have kept all of my tissue paper because, A, it's too beautiful to throw away. Um, I'm going to be using this and doing like a super fun spread. I've seen a lot of planners do this where they basically like color the tissue paper. <laughs> But with all that being said, if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Addie, and I make planning and lifestyle content here on this channel. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, definitely stick around and subscribe. I would love your support. Um, and turn the post notification bell to get notified every single time I upload, and like this video if you like it, because it really helps the channel. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started into today's video. Okay, so along with the tissue paper, because we're not just going to use tissue paper, I did grab all three of the sticker packs that came with this bloom box which is the floral sticker book which is black white and gold mainly I'm pretty sure that's all it is um and then the functional sticker book which has a black white and gold functional stickers and then this tiny sticker pad that has just super cute mostly double boxes and vertical boxes so I did grab those to go along with it to help decorate it but we're gonna start by coloring these or this tissue paper so I can't just color it unfortunately I have to grab a sheet of paper to go underneath it to oh my gosh I have so much like felt paper I have to grab a piece of paper to go underneath it so that we do not bleed through because it definitely will because it's super thin so I'm gonna stick this underneath and we'll figure out where we're gonna want to start or whatever later but I have a few my eyeliners and I decided on a pink and green. I want to test this my eyeliner though because I don't know if it's the type of green I want. I mean these look cute together. But I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I don't even know if you can see that, so hopefully you can. But I think these are the two I want to go with. Ooh, unless I want to use this pink. This is a really pretty pink. Let's see here. Well, I'm going to do a mix of both pinks because they're both really pretty. So it's still going to have that pink look to your typical Valentine spread, but it's just going to be not all hearts and lovey dovey. So. All right, let's, I'm gonna put it in the corner to make it easy on myself. This is also super duper wrinkled because I've literally had it sitting in a drawer since July. So I knew I wanted to keep it to do something with, but honestly, I just didn't use it. So that's okay. Okay, here we are now. I'm struggling to get it to fit on my really tiny desk, but okay. I think we have it. I'm actually gonna grab this and set it down so that it doesn't move. That's not gonna help this little area, but what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just going to outline anywhere that there's a line. And I don't care if it's perfect, I just kind of want it to stand out. So I think it's gonna look super pretty, just like this. So if you kept your tissue paper this is a great way to recycle it i'm so excited this is going to be so pretty hopefully but it's good i'm filming this friday night because i kind of have a busy weekend so worst case it ends up looking really bad you know what i have a whole weekend it's not like i'm filming this sunday night 
Okay, I already love this. Okay, so I'm gonna color one thing with each color and then I'm gonna stop it and then go back on my own. Then I'm gonna go off of my own in a little bit and color what I want because I do think it's gonna take me a while since I'm kind of using a big chunk of this paper. I wanna use all the leaves in this color and then I want these tinier floral, like the shape that I'm outlining right now to be this like pink. I don't have a, it's like a neon pink, super pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a little bit more to all of this and get a section and then I will be back. Okay y'all, we are back. Here is the finished product. Can you see my paper? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that I put this underneath because if not, my poor little desk. So I went ahead and colored both corners that I plan on using. I will show you. So I ended up changing that green I was using. I wasn't really digging it. So I decided to use these two greens. Um, they're by the Sharpie brand. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I hope that's focusing. But I use this beautiful, like, lime green color. There's no color name. And then I use this, like, minty kind of color. But this was not really super minty. It's this kind of sage green. And then this was more of, like, a lime green. And then I, of course, use these. It's not looking super mountain-y because I feel like this pink really threw it off it's kind of more magenta-y than I remember it being <laughs> but to do this I'm going to quickly start by cutting across where I plan on tearing so I can save this and it's going to be much easier to work with so we're to go about here I want to tear it at about right here okay so now we're just gonna rip it and go for it so let's see here okay that might be a little like rugged edges but this is kind of hard okay I kind of like it and I could easily cover up some of these little parts with stickers so I think I'm good I don't want to touch it anymore but I also really randomly want to put this like up here but I feel like that'd be way too much maybe okay so I'm gonna save this in case we need like little scraps for any areas okay this is a maybe for the little top area and then I want something for this corner. Let's see here, I'm gonna go from down here. And I'm just gonna start maybe not ripping. There we go, we added a little bit more curve to her. And I think that looks super cute. Okay. Oh, I just ripped it. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? That's okay. We can still tape it and glue back on. Okay. So I'm going to move the rest of that out of the way. And then we're going to do it to tape this down. We're either going to tape or glue. I feel like I should really glue it, but I could also tape it, but I feel like tape might rip it. I'm not able to find my glue stick, so we're just going to have to be risky and use a tape pen. So this is scary. This is really scary. Although, what I do love about my Tombow tape pen, let's see here, let's do a test, okay, is that it's very lightweight. <gasps> nope, 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 abort mission, abort mission. <laughs> okay, so do not use it on that. Okay, I know it goes to the edge. goes to like about right here okay let's 
Let's see, let's see if we can get it down. Just the least bit. Okay. Okay, so then underneath, we'll lay the tissue paper down. This way it should be a little more secure than like, I feel like a glue stick would. Okay, there is some poking out, but I'll end up putting stickers over that anyway. So we'll just make the stickers extra secure. I think that's good. I think that's really good. Okay, let's see here. Was this what I was missing, this little? No, maybe? Yes, okay. We'll stick this down. Okay, cute, I really like this. Okay, I could honestly be down here, but we're not gonna be down here because we can do more. Okay, just put my tape pen away. <laughs> I'm trying to like clean up as I go. So, let's start with taking a double box sticker because I love me a cute double box and I'm really thinking that this is going to be perfect. I kind of like want to put it, I think I'm going to put it like, I really need to like cover this up because I'm really not vibing with the like red ink coming through okay now once I put this sticker down I want to color in the stickers a little okay so I finished coloring that little section okay so I went ahead and got a piece of wax paper to pull off some stickers that I like so I can set them down so I'm gonna color this one. Oh my gosh these are falling okay i think i'm gonna color this one because i ended up throwing all the other ones that i did because i basically ruined them so i'm gonna color this one real quick okay so i colored the sticker in mid color i realized it's a paper sticker obviously and it's on the actual paper itself which is never good all right i think this is a start i think i should be good for now so now i'm going to bring these over and i think i don't want any more pops of this color i think i kind of just want to leave it plain and simple now so i'm going to start by putting this little to-do bar here and then this to-do bar up here Okay, next, I think I'm going to cover this box with the get it done. Oh no, I hate when I put down stickers lopsided. I hope this is not too long of a plan with me. I wanted to get way more filming done tonight. Tonight is Friday night. I wanted to get way more filming done, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I may just have to cram in some filming Monday morning and Friday night. Okay. Get it done. And then I want to use these stickers on the days that I have practice. I like having certain stickers see okay okay cute and then I love these to do stickers so I think I'm gonna throw this one down right here and then I really like this sticker to be layered 
with this box. So what's here? Let's stick this box down. I really like this sticker, like kind of like right here. So I think I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna stick this down here. Cute, I like that. Okay, I really like this spread. It's like kind of simple, which I don't mind, but it also is like kind of bright and fun. Part of me wants to put this sticker, I don't know, I feel like I have a lot going on. I don't think I need any more. I'm gonna pull Calibre Plans sticker book. It always comes in clutch. And I believe there is like holidays in here. Okay, Valentine's Day. Okay, Valentine's Day. So stay right here. I really wanted more to like pull in over here, but I think that's cute. I think I'm gonna be done because I really like this spread and I feel like I don't wanna add more. If I don't really need it. So I think I'm gonna be done. Okay, so we're gonna pop these pages back on the discs. But alright, I think I'm gonna be done. I really like how this spread turned out. I kind of don't like it. I feel like there's I don't know how I feel about it, but I think it's I think it's gonna end up being really cute and be really cute in the long run. So with all that being said. That is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up because it really truly does help my channel. That's it, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, Funner Babes.